this is how serious I am about running for office. I've got uh I've got a YouTube channel. I've got I did some tidying of the room a bit. I upgraded this computer. I am very excited excited about that and yeah, if the president can stutter then so can I. Anyway, yeah, I completely redid this machine. I've got this very serious looking Chiron beneath these graphics for the channel going forward and a chair that is starting to lean to one side that will soon be replaced with a director style lawn chair and uh this one, which was, I believe, $150, $160. I got it for Christmas, though. So I paid nothing, but the lawn chair is going to be 60 It's a uh, Sam's Club. Those things have gotten really expensive, by the way. I think they know that there are people who are just going down to the bone with the uh, minimalism on office for uh, well, on home furniture, that they're willing to take lawn chairs and put them in their houses. That's a real thing. And it's still cheap, um, but now we have lawn chairs that are about as expensive as the uh, least expensive office chairs now. So, great job, greedy CEOs! So yeah, this is my YouTube channel, and... For this episode, what I am going to do is clear up this, uh, I'm going to clear this up, and then I'm going to show you what my system is. I'm going to do a screen fetch in the Yakuwake drop-down terminal. And what I upgraded here is the uh, CPU and the internal GPU. It's an x86 processor, AMD Ryzen 7, uh, Ryzen 7 7840U, and it's got a uh, built-in Radeon 780M graphics. I set this in the UEFI to gaming mode, and with that I get... 5.13 gigahertz. This is the highest clock speed I've ever had on any computer. It's going to make some heat. And speaking of heat, it is time for the game Indigo Park. Here it is. Now I just got to ask will it Linux? Will this boot? On Linux, on a computer with these specs, and the computer I had before, it had like a 2.13 gigahertz processor. It was a core i7 13th gen. Ah, yes, just in time for the game. The overhead light is... Uh, well, the desk light pointing up is off. The overhead light is still on, and so is that one. I love this aesthetic. So, any key to start? Unfortunately, this game does not have native support for controllers, which is very much a bummer. But fret not, I'm just going to plug this out and back in. And see what it does. It is really not liking that. Okay, so it's not going to be able to force the controller to work. I am going to have to use the keyboard as the creator intended. And, uh, WASD, of course, to navigate up and down. But I can also use the mouse. The thing about Indigo Park is it is a free game. It is a free mascot horror that you can download and run on Steam as long as you have the specs 
and the operating system. Or a Proton that will work with the specs of your op operating system. This is the distro I'm running here is KDE Neon. KDE Neon. And I have to run this in X11 or it will not go. I don't have save data, by the way, but uh, yeah, I would like to start a new game of Indigo Park. Okay, oopsie whoopsie, I wanted everything to run through my headphones, including the microphone. Clark Macbeth, a serious candidate. Here it is. Here it is. In the go park. In the go park. Let me try this one more time. Hey there, freaks and sickos. Welcome to my campaign. So, I decided to do some fall cleaning in July because, uh, you know, this and the, that. I uh, think we're getting close to the postseason with that one. And, uh, yeah, this is my desktop. I did a few upgrades on the framework, the franken pewter, as I like to call it. Um, I upgraded the main board. The old one is behind me. Uh, let me show you here real quick. This is from the uh, original first generation framework 13. It was an Intel uh, 13th Gen i7, and it just it just seemed like it was on its last legs. It was starting to crash programs frequently, which is odd because it had 64 gigs of DDR4. But I decided, you know what, time to move on. Time to Time to put that thing behind me out to pasture and uh, replace the main board with an AMD Ryzen 7040U. Actually, there you go. That's the specs. I hit uh, I hit F12. I dropped down the terminal. Um, a more updated one. Just type in screen fetch. And there it is. I am running at 10 gigs of RAM right now, but that's a good thing about stuffing it. It's got DDR5. Um, I went into the UEFI. I needed to do that to install KDE Neon, which is the operating system I'm using. Uh, well, it's the distro of the GNU Linux operating system I'm using. Right now, excuse moi. And uh, the old board, it was, it was like 2.2 gigahertz, and this is more than double that. In gamer mode, 5.13 gigahertz. And uh, gamer mode is also quite useful for forecasting, uh, but also for editing and rendering videos it should work faster even without the external gpu which i don't have set up yet i'm using the radeon uh 780m inside so that i can run indigo park to relate to kids these days and you know i really want to start these let's plays off with just the forecast uh yeah just a bit of a public service to my uh, community, especially given that it's Minnesota and you can't really predict the weather here. It 
doesn't normally flood, but it did this year. Not it. It's never flooded as much as it has now. Minnesotans now have to consider getting flood insurance. And you know what would really help a lot? Actually doing something about climate change. Ah, yeah. Oh. I see the appeal, furries. You know why? Because I'm one of you. So, yeah, I'm running a very eccentric political campaign. This is um, my plan to reach out to younger voters. If there was just a slight uptick in people under 40 voting in municipal elections, anything can happen. What I want to do is to run uh, in practice alongside Barnett, win, and fix transit in Maple Grove. Uh, rather than have our s intentionally stunted system, I would rather just have the Met Council take all of that over and offer uh, more stops, more service, and more rides, dial a rides running at all hours instead of not being able to pick up the first shift for the city's largest employer. I also want to dense zone all the houses. Um, so going forward, if a property is condemned, if there's a section that needs to be rebuilt, that sort of thing, dense housing will go in there by default. And this one, Will Linux. I was just playing a little game of Will Linux. Uh, before the upgrades, this would not load. It would not run. But now, with X11, with uh, Proton Experimental Indigo Park, will start. It'll Linux, and it will controller. I got uh, the... power bank that fell yeah uh indigo park it's a free game the first one's free they're doing it they're doing they're selling this game with app strategy it's already popular the buzz is going around it's a really good game and i've heard a lot of good things from furries and other people who are interested in mascot horror that could be a sub fandom within furry or fandom in and of itself I know you can't really see it right now with the very serious Chiron that I put a lot of effort into, but uh, the uh, sticks work. They're, I don't, I'm not sure if they're analog, and I, I really don't want to mess with the keyboard. I don't want to do WASD. I know this was programmed in Unreal and coded without controller input in mind, but thankfully Steam put an overlay, and hopefully it will work good enough. I'm going to try and continue the old game from the first time I tried running this. I haven't started anything yet. I'm just waiting for it to load. I pressed and held B, and I did something, and now I... Looks like the game has frozen. Let me see here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so I restarted the computer and I... Oh, you know, I did some fooling around for a bit and, uh... What? Don't give me that look! What did you expect? I'm a Minnesotan. I like doing the work that I like to do, and I really like working with computers. Therefore, I run Linux, okay? I'm not like a masochist or anything. I don't use Arch, by the way. It's just KDE Neon, and I just gotta run a few more switches just to get the game to go. But you know what? You know what? I think it's time we had a bit of an intermission.
as evidenced by I took the Chiron down. Here is a look at what my desktop looks like. And yeah, it, it looks like some kind of knockoff of Windows 7 and that's a little bit true. Um it does look kind of arrow themed if I hover over the windows. Some of them will give me a preview, others will not. It depends on if they are compatible with that and not all of them are. And this is something you could do with the regular KDE uh breeze theme, but I I chose to be a little more eccentric here. Uh up here you can really, really rice KDE. That's why I love it so much. Uh, and you could just make the computer interface that fits you. You can't do that with GNOME or Cinnamon. Only KDE. That's why I use Neon. It's also a stable release and distribution. Which is great, because I, I really like stable things. I don't like when... When when things just uh, are not stable and things are broken in the name of uh, uh, a kind of progress that no one really asked for. Uh, 2020 really did a number on me, and I worked retail that year. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got a color picker up here for when I'm doing creative stuff and Inkscape and color paint. Here is a button where the brightness and the night light are. Uh, this is not on a schedule, but if it was, I could click that to spend it and uh, have a little slumber party. Uh, nothing is in pairing mode, so I can't connect it to Bluetooth. This is a media player. There is no media playing. Uh, I would like to get this working with Firefox. i got to figure that out. Uh, just a little glitch. Here is the volume. I have it set. Microphone. Sound through this. The Logitech Pro X2. I really like uh, that Logitech products are uh, carbon neutral. That they are trying. They have a reputation to defend. So, many props to them for that. And on the bottom, the app launcher. You got the apps that I am running right now. I will get to this, just an intermission. I will let you know when it's over. I'll even put a timestamp in the description. Because I'm such a nice guy like that. Literally. You know, not the sarcastic kind of nice guy. I, I, I'm not that kind of person. Okay, you do you. Um, yeah, I got Thunderbird. Uh, there's nothing sensitive in that. You could try the one-time codes. They won't work because they're one-time. I already used them. Oh. So, yeah, let's just calm down, okay? Let's just calm down. I'll share this on Discord when I feel like it. Um, I'll do the editing I need to do, okay? I will do the editing that I need to do. I promise. Anyway. We're back on topic. Uh, end of intermission and back to our regularly scheduled programming. I know... That seemed, like, abrupt, but I did say I had to restart it. And, you know, it's my video, and I can do what I want with it. It's my video. My content. I made it. It is copyrighted to me under a YouTube license. Actually, I think I'll do the Creative Commons one. I'll double-check and see if that's a good idea. But because I love freedom so much, you know, that's, that's why I'm gonna... Put on this here hat. 
That is how much I love American freedom. That is how much I am willing to defend it. That is why the red, white, and blue old glory behind me doesn't offend me. Because this is the correct attitude for Americans to be having. Uh, So much so that, uh, you know, if you're saying you're a veteran and if this deeply offends you or having that next to the rainbow flags is just too much for your little porcelain heart to bear, well, no, you weren't. You were dressing up. Perhaps even committing treason. That's how I see your time. That's how I see your stories, your struggles. You didn't do any service, so I have nothing to thank you for. Your rank is back to civilian, to zero, and you're not allowed to apply again. Only the Trump-loving veterans, though. Veterans, okay? Scare quotes, because you cannot be a veteran for Trump. That is impossible. It cannot be done. So heavy. Time to get back into Indigo Park. Okay, so I have a mouse. I have a keyboard. This was made for mouse and keyboard. They were, They didn't... They didn't make the controls for this game. Steam just put its own layout for it. I have an ISO controller right here. It appears to work, and I will go off of heuristics. Indigo Park. I am a computer scientist, so I'm gonna look at the options before I play the game. English... I'll leave the subtitles on. Let's see. Okay, B does that. Output volume of the game coming out of the game itself. That looks good. Borderless, brightness 100. Okay, this is about saving a message. I know there are people obsessed with the frame rate of the game, but I just prefer to keep it at 30. It's the standard. It's what you're used to. And it looks like the lowest setting. Therefore, I'm locking it to 30. And it'll make the animation look better. I am not going to do V-Sync, and part of the problem with that is I am looking at this two ways, like the framework. This camera is right above the framework computer. That has a better looking screen than the TV over here stage right. I'll apply the settings. Just uh, want to make sure. Oh, this is awkward. You can change the controller type, but uh, I'm gonna stick with the ISO controller. Everything is set the way it should be with my ISO controller. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna start a new game. I think the old one... The old one had a bit of a panic. Alright, I'm seeing Rambly. This is a good sign. Just 
Just going to wait here for a bit until it loads. No big deal. I just have to do a little computer science knowing something like this was going to happen. I'm using Proton. It, I was using Proton Experimental. Like the, the way the game loaded, it like had the white screen. I pressed and held B. Then it went to a dark screen and nothing happened no matter what controls I pressed. So, uh, it might be a clever part of the game. I could be wrong, but I'm going to try this with a different compatibility. Engine. And, uh, yeah, yeah, babe. Okay, babe, I know you. You, you might be onto something, okay? I might have to do some changing a little, but for, for now, I gotta, I gotta, I really want to play this game. Please, baby, please, just give me a little time of peace. I promise I'll come back to it. Okay, I'll come back to it. Just let me, just let me chill for a bit, babe, before we have the discussion. Okay? So what I have here is Proton Up Cute. This is a GUI. That's nice. Uh, let me try that again. It didn't like that. Never mind what I just said. This is part of the game, and I am so weirded out. I hit uh, Y, and I'm just thinking, why? What are you doing? What is this? Come on, what is this? Okay, so, so apparently uh, select is that one. I haven't played video games whatsoever in a while, okay? Y me uh, tap Y, A and X do nothing. I can go to options, the same options I just showed you. But I'd rather go back to the game. Let's go back to the game. How do I go back to the game? Uh, okay, so that's back, apparently. Yeah, no. No ISO controller for now. I'm gonna... Plug the controller back in. So, if I hit Y, nothing happens. Press and hold B. Blank screen. Am I supposed to do something? Is there a secret command or code? Now select doesn't work. What is going on? W A S D enter. Please work this time. New game. Yeah, I'd like to overwrite, please. I want to see what happens now. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, I um. 
Pretty much the same thing so far. Press and hold B. Darkness. Oh my god. Dark side, born with the bite to survive. Best of the beast is alive. You are. Alright, so I reloaded the game with Proton 6.3 8. Hopefully, that will get this to run the controller. Looks like it's running okay. Let's see what we got here. New game. I believe the uh, problem was uh, UE5 Unreal Engine 5 related. There we go! It, it did not skip. It is not skipping the intro this time. This awesome! We welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new Yeah, turnabout is fair play with the AI shit. Potential of tomorrow. Indigo Park pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey of a lifetime, a place of creativity, joy, and fantasy, where your dreams come Sure. Sure! Oh my god, I pronounced it normally this time. Normally I pronounce it sure. 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 I pronounced it normally. Like normal. Yes. Yes. This kind of feels like how Six Flags is doing right now. But maybe after the merger, uh, Valley Fair will get a bit better. Who knows? It also has five people vibes. One thing I would like to do, hold up. Alrighty, okay, let's get this party started. Let's get this road on the show. Here's Indigo Park. Proton 6.3-8. Continuing. who journey to this newfound paradise, we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call... Chapter 1, Birds of a Feather. Uh, the ISO controller seems to be doing what it's supposed to into the park. Ooh. It's like a little mystery game. I gotta push my uh, first clue. I gotta see what my buttons do. Those are the most important. I haven't done gaming in a while, okay?
Gotta use the old noggin. Is there a way to change the sensitivity? I'll worry about that later. Gotta deal with the tools I'm getting, y'all. I locked the max frame rate to 30 because... I don't care. I don't care about the frame rate, I don't obsess over that, I just want to play the game. That's all I want to do right now. Used to be... Hi there, and welcome to Indigo Park! Oh, the world's yeah. most innovative and engaging family fun experience! Jump into the world of your favorite character! Wait, you're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds! Congratulations! I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon. And it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be! Just hop on over to the registration center to your left, where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park! Cool. I believe E is Y on the ISO. Oh, this is such a creepy mess. That's about eight years ago, so... If we're in present day in this universe, and they measure cal calendars the same, which I'm not so sure about that. Uh, what was eight years ago? 2016 was when this shut down. That might be a clue for what happens at the very end of this series. But we shall see. Got some boxes here. There were some deliveries. Um. Yeah, this is this is mascot horror, but it's a mystery game. When when horror and mystery collide, I like that. They need to get back to that in the horror genre. Indigo. Ban. It's from the ban. Age pack doesn't seem to do much here. The power in this park is completely down. There's no emergency power to the essential stuff. But for Rambly, that, okay, we'll we'll do it for Rambly. We'll do it for our electronic stuff. I don't know why. Door doesn't go. There does appear to be more than one door. Is this a door? E. I feel kind of dumb. Boxes to nowhere. More boxes to nowhere. This is how I'd respond in real life, too. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to listen to the dude. 
E. E. I remember in a YouTube poop this did something. Okay, yeah, I get it now. Uh, keyboard and mouse are better. They are definitely better for this game. Though I will change a little setting here. Get the sensitivity from 3 to 1. That's a little better. around Okay, I'm going to try this again like normal people. See what's in here, don't you know? Hi there, and welcome to Indigo Park! The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience! Jump into the world of your favorite character! Wait! You're our first guest in 2920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds! Congratulations! I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon! And it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be! Just hop on over to the registration center to your left, where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park! <laughs> Press E. Okay. E. Oh, sir. E. Hi! I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm, I don't seem to have your face in our Please guest list. Do. Is this your first time here at the park, or did you just get plastic surgery? <laughs> no worries, it's Rambly Tuesday, so you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me to the main gate. I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer! And this game suddenly doesn't feel like horror anymore. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Ooh, what is here? Oh, there's more stuff, I think. Or is that the exit? So it looks like registration is that just that one building. What's the hold up? The gate is open. Head on into the entryway. Hmm, hold on. My mistake. The gate is not open. <laughs> there seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambly venture. Have fun! Uh, that seems like, uh, fun. Generator. I'm 
Sorry, I do apologize. I wanted to make a few uh, minor calls, medical adjustments. So space W is sprint. I feel like I'm doing child labor. I just gotta walk around while, while something flashes. Derg. This looks promising. Wranglers. Follow the power. Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator. But it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? Mm -hmm. And you're making me do work. I don't even know why I'm here. That's the thing about this game, like, I don't know what the what my main character is. For all I know, this is all I know. I, like, woke up from a coma and suddenly I'm just, I just felt the beckoning to come here or something. Even though my head got smashed in and I got a bunch of, um... Memories lost from this noggin. This is why your workers went on strike, Disney. They, uh... Simply could not... Handle these conditions. Look at the, 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 the... This is just a mess. There's no leadership here. This is just a mess. No leadership, no, uh... No, it's not fair. Do I have to do this? Yeah, that's locked. And you're expecting me to find out where the where the gear is. Do I have to open these? Here box seals. My balls. I think this game is messing with me. Like, I went through the room several times, like in a hurry, panic, just trying to find this. So, uh, yeah, E. I have acquired the gear. Now I just gotta. 
follow the cable the other way. Gotta use my my resonant skills. There we go. And with that gear, I should be able to pull the switch down. There we go. Yes. Such is life. Problem solving, tech, machinery. Sometimes you're just on your own. You gotta figure it out. You gotta think, and you gotta realize that uh, what you're thinking on the surface might not be the real answer. Double check your thoughts, your opinions, your conclusions. Carefully observe how they work out in practice. Pay attention and see if there is another way worth trying. Such is life. Such is science. I am thrilled with this game so far. I have turned on the essential powers. Jeez, I don't know why Rambly is the backup power. Why he gets uh, the... I mean... I guess to help employees as a very last resort, or uh, ramblers. Jeez. I kind of forgot why, oh yeah, I gotta go outside again. But before I do that, for all that effort to not just get the game to run, but to get to this point, I encourage you all to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Clerk Macbeth, and I approve this gameplay. And the game. You see there, baby? Wasn't that a bit of fun? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a little patience really does prevent a lot of stupid.